Now I'm going to explain very important part about the properties of collateral solutions. So collateral solutions have different properties and collateral solutions differ a lot from the true solution and substantial. And it is because the particles of collateral solution, that is the solute particles, they have such size from 1 nanometer to 1000 nanometer that they remain always mobile. They remain always mobile. And as a result of this, collateral solutions or souls, they are totally different than the true solutions and suspension. And so properties have been classified into different ways. And first is the mechanical mechanical character so mechanical character is basically the ability of the particles of the solute to move to move haphazardly or move irregularly and mechanical character is explained by brownian moment it is explained by brownian moment and Brownian moment actually it has been named by scientist Robert Brown. And so Brown moment is nothing but the irregular or the haphazard moment. Irregular. Suppose we take the microscope and if we watch a drop of soul under microscope, so what will happen? If a particle is solid particle is here, so it will move just straight. It will move just straight without any pre planning and so this is Brownian moment just as Brownian moment there is a straight line and it is caused by the presence of electrolytes electrolytes are present in small amount in the souls you know about the purification of souls souls are purified in such a manner to remove the excess of electrolytes so electrolytes are removed by dialysis and so some amount of electrolyte is left intentionally so as to maintain the condition so as to maintain the state so as to maintain the nature so this is uh, the Brownian moment this is the mechanical character etc now second point is the qualitative properties as like simple solutions or two solutions so qualitative property it is also exhibited qualitative property right now qualitative properties depends on the number of particles right. depends on number of moles so all the different points of true solution they are also exhibited by qualitative solution so this is very important point to now Third is electrical property. Third is electrical property or electrical character. So in electrical character we study electrophoresis. We study electro electrophoresis. It is also called as cataphoresis. It is called as cataphoresis. Electrical character. As two names, electro character. Electrophoresis or cataphoresis. So it is defined as the movement of oppositely charged particles of soul towards the cathode and you know movement. It is the flow or movement, flow or movement of oppositely, oppositely charged particles, oppositely charged particles of soul towards the electrodes when the soul is kept, soul is kept in between in between the electrodes. So it's kept between the electrodes, that is electrophoresis. Now see how if we take you shape the glass tube, you shape glass tube like this, and the you shape glass tube, it has let it be the 
positive, it is anode, and here it is cathode. And if we take the soul, if we take the soul, after passing current, after passing high potential difference, basically the souls they undergo dissociation. Souls they break, and the breaking of souls. And so, as the statement says, the negative particles will move. Negative particles will move toward the positive plate, and this positive will move toward the negative. And as a result, here there will be accumulation, here there will be accumulation. And here the positive particles of the soul, here the negative particles of the soul. Now this is very important to note that this technique of electrophoresis or cataphoresis is used in the many industrial applications. Purification of substances. Purification of substances are used. Then in the developed countries, because their economy is very strong, so they use this principle to uh, treat the water. The water treatment is done by this method in Western countries to completely remove the pollutants from any sewage water. Now, next very important point is the stability. Souls are highly stable. Souls are highly stable. All the souls. All the souls are highly stable. All the souls are highly stable. It means that they sit down in the bottom. Actually, it is nothing like that. Stability means they are able to maintain their form. Means they are able to maintain their character for example you know milk milk is colloidal well, solution and milk is highly stable so this is due to the presence of stabilizers you know milk is natural product and so milk has some stabilizers Milk has some stabilizers inside which is able to maintain the condition like electrolytes. As we have seen in the purification of souls, little amount of electrolyte is left and entire electrolytes are not removed because electrolytes they are able to provide the ions and the ions they always try to agitate any soul particle. So, real point is the presence of electrolytes. If electrolytes are present, then the souls, they always keep on moving with the help of electrolytes. So, this is about the stability. But, there is other point also. If any other soul, if any other substance having difference in the character with that of the colloidal solution is added together, then it loses its character. Like milk, when we add a drop of lime juice or add a drop of vinegar, what happens? There is the coagulation of milk. So, coagulation is the shifting of the property. The property is lost because lemon juice it is acidic. Vinegar it is acidic. Milk is, you know, slightly basic. So, they are responsible for destructing the property of soul, and as a result, they undergo coagulation. So, this is very important point to note that souls are stable only by the stabilizers. Now, we add some stabilizers also. The souls which are prepared for our any purpose. Some stabilizers are also added to make the souls stable. Like you might have seen the biscuits, ice cream, all the bakery products from bread and companies. It has been written that it contains stabilizers. So basically, 
the stream is colorless solution and as a result if we do not add a stabilizer then it will not be stable like gelatin is added in ice cream gelatin is added in ice cream gelatin maintains the character a starch maintains the character a starch it maintains the character like you know when we use a uh, starch for starching the clothes cotton clothes we dissolve the starch powder in water it forms colloidal solution so it remains as it is for very long time but few hours it remains as it is it means that the starch is stable it is able to maintain its character on its own now we see very important part charge on colloidal solution so charge on colloidal solution it is very interesting point to note that all the colloidal solutions have a specific type of charge and this is due to the development of charge how charge is developed on particular solution so here there is a central portion this is the central portion of the particle of soap and there is the outer layer this is the outer layer so there are the two layers this is at the microscopic level the central portion of central layer it is fixed it is fixed layer and outer layer it is mobile layer it is mobile, mobile layer and the development of charge depends on the nature of the substance it depends on the nature of substance if uh, like we take the case of ferric hydroxide so ferric hydroxide it has positive charge uh, it has negative charge and the outer layer has the positive charge and so there is the loss in the outer layer so as it is mobile so mobile layer is flexible it always keeps on rotating and it is in the interaction with the particles of electrolyte and the difference between the outer layer and inner layer it is having a particular potential and it is called as zeta potential or electrokinetic or electrokinetic potential zeta potential electrokinetic potential so the potential is very much a small in amount but it is able to maintain the state of a solid just the very minute difference this difference between the outer and inner so it is fixed layer so this charge is always fixed this is in this way outer is mobile and mobile means it can be lost it can be lost by some electrolyte just you know when we put any acid in milk what happens there the coagulation of milk why is so because when we add one drop or two drop of lime juice milk will not undergo coagulation it is called as flocculation it is called as flocculation flocculation is the beginning of coagulation and flocculation is reversible flocculation is reversible all the salts keep in mind all the salts they have ability to maintain their nature maintain their identity by the presence of some stabilizers which are called buffer solutions so buffer solutions you know they are able to maintain the acidity or basicity within a particular limit or in a small amount so the flocculation begins 
and blockless is reversible due to what? Due to buffer agents, buffer materials. And if it is exceed, then there is coagulation. So coagulation is the extreme condition and it is irreversible. So this is the uh, fifth point charge on the colloidal solution. Now last property in the colloidal solution is optical property and it is explained by Tyndall effect. And so Tyndall effect is nothing but the scattering of the light beam. It is a scattering of light beam when pass through colloidal solution. And it is because the particles of soul they are so large in size or they are enough in size which are capable of reflecting the incoming quantas. The incoming quantas or incident light is reflected. Suppose we take milk, here there is the milk or milky water. If we pass light from a torch, we pass light from a torch, torch having in front there is a beam, there is a slip or a small hole is there. So we pass here there is the illuminated, illuminated or bright beam. So it is because the milk is colloidal in nature and so it's the particles are able to scatter the light. On the other hand, if we take similar example and here if we take convex lens and here there is a bulb, this is bulb. So as you know the property of there is the conversion, there is the conversion of the rays. The rays are converted, the rays are converted and so there is the formation of cone. This is called as Tyndall cone. So this is Tyndall effect. Now Tyndall effect is very much useful in nature also. Different phenomenon take place by Tyndall effect. Initially Tyndall effect starts and so this is about the optical property.